Hello YouTube, this is Patrick and this is my review of The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 6. And yes, I lost my voice. I said that on my Dexter review, but if you don't watch that, yes, I lost my voice a few days ago. So sorry, I sound ridiculous. Um, okay, this episode was... I mean, it was alright. I, I didn't... I had a few problems with... Um, with, with some stuff. I uh, The whole Woodbury storyline... Uh, in this episode, I thought it was just kind of, well, it was boring. Um, I thought they continued to completely assassinate Andrea's character by having her sleep with the governor. Um, I mean, look, it's nothing wrong, you know, she just wants to get, she wants to get delayed, that's fine, that's, you know. But, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't work. It just, it, it just really didn't work. And, uh... It was pointed out to me last week by, um, I forget how to exactly pronounce your, uh, your username, but you know who you are, uh, who, you know, hates this show. It, um, I'm looking at the whole Woodbury storyline, and I kind of feel like it's spinning its wheels pretty much like last season's farm stuff. They're masking it better, because it's all introductory, and it's a little bit weirder, but, like, we haven't really learned anything about it. Um, other than that, the governor is a weirdo, and, but we kind of knew that right away. It would have been nice to get a little more backstory or a little more something going on. We haven't really gotten anything. And I know people want to say, like, well, it's been only six episodes. Like, yeah, but it's been six episodes, you know. We should get somewhere with that. We really haven't. And, you know, the whole point is that we're going to eventually, you know, meet up, which is with the other character, with the main characters, which, obviously, the, the end of this episode, you know, uh, signals that that's going to happen. But yeah, the whole hunt for uh, Michonne was just kind of like, all right, you know, it was uh, it was whatever. I don't know why Merle had to kill that guy. I I, I mean, I don't know. It was, it was whatever. Um, Michonne, again, didn't, I don't think she said two words the whole episode. I know she really didn't really have dialogue scenes, but again, something for her, please. Uh, maybe next week, finally, she'll get something. But not really. She's only going to basically probably explain what's going on and lead them. That's really it. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not really happy with, um, with, uh, everything as of yet. They could have done more on the Woodbury storyline by now. <clears throat> and they really haven't. So, yeah. Alright, moving on to the prison. Which, uh, okay, Carol's alive. Alright, fine. Um, I mean, I'm glad she's not just dead, one-off dead, because then it makes... T-Dog's death completely useless because he sacrificed himself for her. So, uh, so I'm glad she's still alive. And, um, let's see what else. Uh, I'm trying to think if I can get to anything. Well, alright, Maggie and, um, Glenn, you know, going on a little run, meeting up with Merle, getting taken back, and Michonne being there. It's a nice, like, little swap thing. Was it contrived? Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, we figured they were going to have to meet soon enough. Uh, I guess I'm glad they met before episode 8, before we have, like, a little bit of a break here. But, I don't know, I just, it wasn't that... A lot of the stuff in the episode really didn't really impress me that much. And, um, I don't know what I was really looking for. But... Like I said, I like the show to have these elements of good character stuff, good horror stuff, and just be really depressing. Because um, that's the kind of show I think it can be and should be. But the only stuff in the episode that I thought was actually really well done was everything with Rick. And, um, in fact, anything when it goes... When it focuses on Rick's character, I think the show is a step above. Um... Because the whole thing with the phone actually pretty really surprised me. I thought that was going to be Woodbury on the other end. Um, and I like Herschel that Herschel picked up the phone, obviously heard no dial tone and didn't you know just kind of left it let it be. I was going to offer to sit with Rick, um, but he chose to let it be pretty much. So all that stuff was good, and Andrew Lincoln's really good. Sorry for my voice. And. Um, I mean, he probably seemed a little too happy at the end of the episode, too accepting already, but, um, 
he's got Michonne to focus on now, so he's got another problem. And, uh, yeah. That's, uh... So we'll see where that goes. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't really like this one that much. And we got two left, and, you know, things... should get interesting the next two weeks. Um... But like I said, I... I'm preferring this to last year because it only right for me right now feels like the the Woodbury storyline is the one that's you know just going nowhere, which like last season the whole storyline was just going nowhere. So hopefully with uh, Maggie and um, and Glenn there, you know, it gives it a bit of a jolt. And uh, yeah, so we'll see with that. All right, guys, I will uh, talk to you next week and uh, later.